Hey everybody. <clears throat> I wanted to make this video talk you guys through how to use Canvas for this course specifically, just as a resource if you need it. Um, I'm gonna switch, real oh, um, not that, apologies. I'm gonna switch real quick to the student view so you guys can see uh, it looks a little bit different from your end at the moment. Things are not launched or open, so things are grayed out. So, But when you come into the course, you'll always come in here on the home page. You have quick links to the syllabus, the modules, the policies, everything you might need. Um, but the modules tab here on the left is where you're going to be uh, spending most of your time in this course. Uh, you can also always find the syllabus right here as well as in the module. So because this is grayed out for you guys right now, I'm going to leave the view and just show you guys um, here how to use the uh, canvas as uh, in the course. So. Um, if you need it, the, the online MindTap textbook is right here. There are a combination of um, texts found in MindTap as well as um, texts that are provided via PDF or an online resource throughout the course. Um, and it, it clearly states where you can find those texts. But um, right now, you can see there are a number of different types of pages and assignments. So. Um, as you work through the course, you'll just essentially be working within each unit, um, top to bottom. Make sure you are working through the modules. That's really important. Don't go through the assignment list. If you do that, you'll miss context and instruction and lectures. But basically, you just follow the instructions that are in all caps, um, and then you work top to bottom. So um, at the end of every week, you'll see a note that says the week is complete. Again, this this Canvas is, or additional resources going right here. You're always welcome to continue on. Um, the within all of the weeks that are open to you within a unit um, so you guys can work ahead or you can just begin again the next Monday morning but as you work down the page you'll see there are different types of content so if it's a page like this it's just a piece of it just a page of information so it would be something like the syllabus in the course calendar right here um, as you navigate through the course you guys can um, you can uh, navigate through the tabs at the bottom or you can just navigate through the actual modules themselves um, if you see a page with a little pencil or pen, that would be an assignment. So that's either a writing assignment, an essay, a journal response. Journals are only seen by me. They're not open to the course. Um, the other type of, of assignment you're probably familiar with is a discussion board. So that's a little uh, discussion bubbles here. That is open to everyone in the course. Um, I am still making this course, but you can come in and see that um, what you'll do is you'll just hit reply for whatever the prompt is will be up here and you'll post your reply and that's pretty much it. Now, sometimes I will ask specifically that you respond to another classmate, but if I don't ask that, you do not have to. Um, you're more than welcome to, if you'd like to, just remember, be respectful of everybody in the course. Um, the other one that you might recognize is this little rocket ship. It's a quiz. So for you guys, I can't show you what it would look like from your perspective, but um, quizzes are, um, no more than 10 questions. Generally, you have one attempt, but you have as much time as you would like to take it. Um, so you just can't save it and return to it later. Um, and I think that's pretty much it as far as how the different assignments work. Um, when you do a major writing assignment or an essay, you will need to make sure that you upload the document um, as a Word file. Um, that will be a, a requirement for the course, um, but otherwise, everything should be pretty straightforward um, and like I said you guys will have access to all of the weeks within a unit so for the first unit for example you will have weeks one through five and then um, unit two will open the next Monday morning at uh, 9 a.m. so that's really it um, if you guys have any questions you can always check your grades throughout this um, semester in the gradebook tool and you can always email me here through the canvas email tool that's again how I will be communicating with you guys. I will send you guys an email every Monday morning um, with the reminder of the weekly assignments. So if you guys have any questions, let me know, but otherwise go ahead and move on.